Father, we thank you for your goodness and mercy. We thank you for the great day you've given us. You are a faithful God. You are a powerful God. Our Holy Spirit, we thank you because you're with us. Come and speak to us. Come and guide us. Come and do a mighty work in us than ever before. We thank you for the men and women who are listening the young men and women. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for our pastors. We thank you for your mighty hand. We thank you, Father, for all those who are listening to the word of God. That the word of God works than never before. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. John chapter 17. John chapter 17 from verse 3 it says and this is eternal life that they may know you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. This is eternal life to, to know you and the only true God. The true one. And the one you sent. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. This is life eternal. To have life. Comes from the fact of understanding the word of God. Let us talk about understanding the word of God. Understand it. The word of God is life. Whatever we see with our eyes was created by the word of God. The word of God is life. And God watches over his word. He says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. By faith we understand that the worlds are framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. By faith, we understand that all things were made by the word of God. The things we see today did not come from the visible things. But they came from the invisible world. So the Bible has said this is eternal life. To understand the only one true God. Everybody, you can understand everyone by the words of their mouth. That's how you can understand them. To understand God, you understand him through his word. To understand our Lord Jesus, we understand him through his word. The, that is why the enemy the devil does not permit you to read the word of God. Does not permit you to listen to it. When you're listening to the word of God, he brings up confusion. When you say to read it, you fall asleep. Then there is a message on your phone and it takes you a lot of time. The enemy brings up things that can distort you. Because when you read the word of God, you get life. You eat life. It is life. Your spirit is built. Every time God confirms who he is, 
and he confirms it by his word. And that is why he says that every word from Isaiah my mouth, Isaiah the word that comes from my mouth, it never returns to me in vain. Let us read Isaiah 55 verse 11. So shall my word be be that goeth forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it, it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. That word which sees a blessing. It say, he says whatever word comes from my mouth will never return to me void. It will accomplish the word task for which I have set it. God reveals himself to us through his word. My friends believe the word of God. Whatever you read that isn't in the word of God refuted. The word of God reveals who I am. The word of God reveals what you are. Even though the other man was a witch and God saved then brought the techniques and tricks of witchcraft into the church and says we used to do this and that. First ask yourself if the devil was powerful why did his minister get saved? Some of you have been because the one who was a witch now begins to teach you the ways of fighting the demons. But the Bible teaches and says we shall speak the word and it shall be and the light Job 22, 29. The word of God is so powerful. If there is any darkness along your way, the word of God says simply speak the word of God. And then the darkness will disappear from the way. Light will shine upon your way. And, yani. and who is that light? The light is our Lord Jesus. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. John 12, 8, 12. In the Old Testament, he was talked about as the light that takes away the darkness. So when Jesus came, what does he say? Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Do you understand that? I am the light of the world. Whoever believes in me will, will never walk in the darkness of this world. The darkness of the world. Satan is the devil. Yes, what but Jesus shows us that once you believe me, no once you believe Satan me, that the devil no longer concerns you. That darkness can no longer defeat you. The power of darkness can never overcome you. You simply speak the word of God. You speak it in the name of Jesus. And then the darkness disappears. And then the bondage disappears. You wake up in the morning and declare, I am blessed. I am more than a victor. I am a head. I am never a tail. If I haven't got a job and I declare that I've got a good job and I call upon the angels the Bible teaches and says Hebrews 1, 8, what does the Bible say? Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14 it says are they not all ministering spirits sent forth 
to minister for, for those who will inherit salvation. Bamalaika. He says the angels are the spirits that God sends that minister unto sons of men. He sends them to, send, to minister unto me to minister unto you. They are here. Welcome them. Say, oh God, I am a child of God. The world belongs to God and all of it. I am I need a job. Oh God. Let the angel of the Lord lead me. Let the angel of the Lord minister to me. I am not a child of the darkness. Curses no longer concern us. The curses and bad words no longer touch us. The Bible teaches and says there isn't any uh, curses who is Israel? It is I, you and I. We are the children of God. There isn't any witchcraft unto us. The Bible teaches and says Isaiah chapter 54 verse 13 the Bible teaches that all your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children that your children will be taught of the Lord and their days will be who is teaching who is teaching don't be afraid money is not available the one who teaches is available and when he is teaching he gets my children he gets hold of your children and takes them to school he knows how he's going to provide he knows how he's going to make a way where there is a way he knows how he's going to bring you a job he knows Simply believe what you were. Believe the word of God. The word of God reveals to you what he is. It gives you life. It gives you understanding. We are not children of darkness. We are the children of light. The darkness doesn't concern us. Amen. 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 You ought to believe what the word of God says. No matter what the devil says, that's not important. The devil is under my feet. The devil is under your feet. Because because he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. John chapter 3 verse 36 he says the gospel according to John chapter 3 verse 36 Hallelujah. Huh? he says he who believes in the son has everlasting life and he who does not believe the son shall not see life but the, wa- but the wrath of the Lord of God abides on him he who believes the son of God has everlasting life has that everlasting life did you believe Jesus the life you've got is different the life you've got cannot be spoken about cannot be bound cannot be stopped you've got a special life so the Bible says he who doesn't have the son he does not have life and the wrath of God is upon him because he does not believe the son when I accepted Jesus the grace of God the goodness of God is upon me is upon you when you believe Jesus then all the goodness of God comes upon you some people just deceive you because you are this and that so the wrath of God is upon you 
Since you're going through a situation so the wrath of God is upon you. You're not yet married, you're not yet this and that because the wrath of God is upon so you. You just need to read the word of God. The Bible has said. Let us read again. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. Uh-huh. And he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Oh, Rita. You hear that? Atalina mwana. He who does not Atalina have the Son does not have no life. And the wrath of God is on him. Why we call upon our people to be saved? Because right now the wrath of God is on them. But for us we have a last life. The goodness of God is upon us. My friends, there is a difference between us who have accepted Jesus and those who haven't believed. We've got everlasting life. The grace of God is upon us. There is a difference. First Colossians chapter 1. First uh, Colossians chapter 1. Verse 9. It says, for this reason, we also, since the day we had it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. For this reason, we also, since the day we had it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Oh, Rita. Do you hear that? Nafe chetuva tetuleka ngayo okuba sabira okuva dala kuluna kulwe twaulira ebibafako nga tube gairira mu juzi bwe okutegeranga byayagala mu magezi gonna no kutegera ebyomwoyo tetule we twaulira when we heard nga obulokos buzeje muri that salvation had come to you paul agamba abakolosai paul told the colossians abida we prayed for you that you may be filled with understanding that you would be filled with the knowledge of God that you be filled with the spirit that you would understand who you are ever since you accepted Jesus ever since you accepted Jesus did you understand who you were ever since you accepted Jesus did you understand who you were When you accepted Jesus, did you understand who you are? Whoever has understood who they are in Jesus, they are always different. They have that godly life in them. You begin to enjoy life. You begin to have fun in the life that God has given you. When we got saved, we were given a new life. God wants us to close ourselves in that new life. When Jesus was praying, he said, I pray that they understand the only one true God and the Jesus that you sent. Okay, to go in the Let us go to the same uh, scripture in the Bible. Colossians chapter 1 verse 12 it says giving thanks to the father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light Jesus 
Omugabo gwafe teguli mu kizikiza. Our inheritance is not in darkness. Naye bwe twakiriza Yesu. But when we accepted Jesus. Kati tugabana ku mugabo ogwo mu musana. Now we are partakers of the inheritance of light. Obo kitagede. Do you understand that? Kati kamba bulide wano. Let me tell you. Bwokirizandi ochagabana ku mugabo gwe kizikiza. If you still believe that you're sharing on the inheritance of darkness, wekebere. Then check up yourself. Omugabo kwe tugabana ko. The portion for which we are sharing gwa musana is of light. Omusana yani. And who is the light? Yes. Is Jesus. Omugabo gwange no mugabo gwo guli mukama fe yes. My inheritance and your inheritance is in Jesus. The sisha gabana ku mugabo ogwa benyonye banachi nsige. I no longer have my inheritance from my clan. Neda. Never. Omugabo gwefuna the inheritance that I have from the guli mu Kristo yes my inheritance is in Jesus Christ let us read again the scripture giving thanks to the father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light abatukuf the saints abana bakatonda the children of god na omugabo gwawe have their inheritance guli mu Kristo Yes. And it is in Jesus Christ. Verse 13. For he, uh, he has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love. Amen. Amen. Eya tulokola mu buyiza obwekisikiza na tutwala mu bwaka baka obo mwana we omwagalwa. Amen. Eya tulokola He saved us. From the power of darkness, from the power of darkness. Now when you find today, when I'm holding the book, and it is filled with the names of demons. I break the spirit, then I break the spirit, then I say about the It means I do not know what I was delivered from. It is just like someone. You get them out of the village from Masaka in Bwasandeku. No mulete Kampala. And then you bring this person to Kampala. Na gamba nzendi nzendi muchalo che Bwasandeku. And then they keep saying I am the, in the village of Bwasandeku. Ali mu Kampala already. They are already in Kampala. Atambula mu Kampala. They are walking on the streets of Kampala. Na yayo gela gamba nze ndi we ndi mu Masaka mtambulira mu Bwasandeku ka Masaka. But they continuously say I am walking in the streets of Masaka. Bible ye gambye. The Bible has said Yatulokola he saved mu buyinzo bwekizikiza from the power of darkness na tutwala mu bwaka baka and he conveyed us into the kingdom of his son omwagadwa of his beloved son yatulokola from bwaka baka wa satan he delivered us from the power of darkness na tutwala mu bwaka baka obupia and got us into a new kingdom omwana we yesu christo that is of his son jesus christ So how do you know where do you reign? Fugira mu bwaka baka wa Kristo obo mwana we Yesu. You rule in the kingdom of God of his son Jesus. Obo bwaka baka we Yesu is a tabu chankwata ko. So the kingdom of darkness no longer When I listen na ba kukiriza Yesu. Before I accepted Jesus. Wali mu kwata ko. I was concerned Kubanga when I rimu. Because that's where I belong. But now I am in a new kingdom. The new king. Think about this. Whoever has been ushered into this kingdom cannot remain the same. Think about Peter. The man who not gone to the fisherman. He became a fisher of men. Think about Jay. About John. Thomas. Think about Thomas. Thomas became a great evangelist. Think about Kumukazi. the woman Eyali Malaya who was a well known harlot Woyasisinkana Yesu nga ya aina no musajja ali awakasi uwe wa mulala when she met Jesus uh, yet she had a man who didn't even belong to her Naye woyasinkana Yesu but when she came across Naa Jesus chusiwa. she was transformed she became a great evangelist Lowoza ku Saulo think about Saul Paulo now who turned to be Paul Lowoza think about Yari, he was persecuting the Mutemu. church 
he was a murderer. But when he met Jesus, he was gotten from the power of man. He became a great evangelist. Why do you think you still belong to the kingdom of darkness? Why don't you believe you were delivered? The kingdom of darkness and of the devil no longer concerns me. No longer rules of me. The kingdom that rules me is the kingdom of God. Tell your neighbor you only worry about the kingdom of darkness the kingdom of darkness no longer concerns you the verse 14 what does it say uh huh it says, says mm. in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins that is where we receive redemption of our sins. We were redeemed. We were helped. We were forgiven. I was redeemed. Believe that you were redeemed from the kingdom of darkness. You were redeemed from all witchcraft. You were redeemed from all bondage. Now you are a child of God. Now I am a child of God. Now I am a child. As we are getting into prayer. The same uh, chapter verse 3. Verse 3. Colossians chapter 1 verse 3. Chapter 3 verse 3. It says, For you died, and your life is For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. That when we accepted Jesus, we died with him. We resurrected with him. We died. And our lives was, was joined with Christ. And we are now, our life now is hidden in God. Your life now is in God. Jesus says, you will be in me and I in you. Our lives are in We are now in fellowship with God. And we are now in God. Verse 4 says, When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Christ is our life. Who is our life? He is Christ Jesus. Yes, we will Jesus is life. The life yes. I have is Christ Jesus. So the life of darkness no longer concerns me. The life I've got. My friends. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. I met one person here at church. And said, Pastor, you ought to know this. We went somewhere. They told us about the demons to cut ourselves off the demons. There were my brethren who were in witchcraft. They got born again, but they had been agents. They revealed the uh, secrets of the enemy. Let me tell you, my friends. No one can reveal the secrets of the devil. The one who reveals the secrets is the Holy Spirit. And the enemy? The truth is, the devil is a liar. 
Jagala I want to tell you if that person was in the and they know the tricks of the devil those secrets of that kingdom no longer Bible me. the Bible has said I was redeemed from that kingdom of darkness and I was brought into the kingdom of light the Bible says to you that now my life your life has been joined with that of Christ and has been hidden in God. So the Bible has said Christ is our life. Christ Jesus Christ Jesus is our life. First Peter chapter 4 verse 17 Christ Jesus is our life. First Peter, first John. Uh -huh. Love has, has been perfected among us in this, that we may have that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. Bible the Bible has said yes, the way God, Jesus is Bwari. the way he is yes. so we are Bwabanga, yes, Bwari. if Jesus he is yes. if he has to cut uh, to break the chains of curses from himself and that the clan issues of Mary and Joseph were still bothering him. If they are still bothering now him, him then you will be bothered as well. But the Bible has said the way he is eh? so are we in this world. Not in heaven. Because we haven't yet gone there. But as we are still in this Bible world, the Bible says, the way Jesus is, their years I wasted thinking I had to cut myself off the curses and many other things. Not until I came to understand that when I believed Jesus, everything else ceased. The Bible has said I died and I resurrected him. That is why we are baptized. We bury the old man and we raise with the new man. The way he is. So do your research. Read your Bible. What is Jesus? Jesus is the king of kings. The way Jesus is. So we are. You are free to keep your book with the demons' names and read one by one. But as for me, I believe the way Jesus is, so am I. I read the Bible. Read the Bible and you will understand God. You will be more than a conqueror. What will make you a victorious person is the word of God. Father, we thank you for your grace, for your power, for this good moment. We thank you for your mighty hand. Be glorified, O God. Be exalted. Be praised. We have spoken life to each and every one. Because your word is life. The way Jesus you are. So we are. Work on everyone's life more than ever before. Work on everyone's life in a special way. I am speaking a special blessing unto their lives. Your special grace. God. The wisdom that comes from God. Let your children be revealed your word more than ever before. Let them understand it in a better way. Let everyone go deeper in understanding your word. Because there is 
there is res- restoration when Mama it comes to you. There is hope for it to sprout again. Mukama buli chokola chiba cha luberera. Father for everything you do is everlasting. Let your grace be I pray that the sick be healed. I pray for the barren women to be healed. I pray for all the sick to be healed. I pray that the heat in the I declare the muscles to be set free in the name of Jesus. I release the understanding of the I pray for the children as they go back to school. I pray bless them from I pray for the parents that their jobs will be blessed in a special way. Give them special providence. I pray for those who are abroad. Those who do not have no, any other answer, they answer. They feel they are bound. I pray that Father you make a way of no the way. Those who are looking for jobs to no visa Those who have visas no visa Those who are in the Arabian countries that no they met no with no jobs. I pray for all those who are abroad. No those who are sick and have no treatments. I pray healing upon them in the no name of Jesus. I wake them up from their beds. I declare that sickness is from their bodies. Those who are hurt in their bones to be well. Their backs to be well. I declare that their bodies be well in the name of Jesus. Those who are in a critical issue. That their bosses do not find give them favor. Let your grace give them let them find favor in the of their masters. Let them see mercy. Oh gracious God. Let your grace be upon them. Let your grace meet them. Give them special providence. Those who have death. Father I pray that they get jobs. I pray that you provide for them. You God who pays off the debt. Make a way where they let your grace meet up with them in a special way in the name of our Lord Jesus I pray the blessing of God and the peace of God let the eyes be well let everybody part be well in the name of our Lord Jesus I pray a special blessing a special blessing everybody part is okay the skin is okay the wombs are okay in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. May the grace of the Lord be upon you. The grace of God be with Amen. you. Amen. We love you all. Let us meet again. Amen. Amen.